is continuing to move south. And the water lapping our beaches is not salty but fresh. This is because we are crossing the outflow to the greatest river of all, the mighty Amazon. Our progress is plain to see. And although there is still a fearfully long way to go, I am encouraged to believe that my dream of reaching Diamantina is no longer an impossibility. That region over there is home to many of the rarest creatures on Earth. If we can rescue just one breeding pair and take them with us, what a good job that will be. However, not all of us can think about the future because the past is too big a part of today. Just remembering my mate, Hetty. Yeah, poor old Hetty. I'd quite forgotten about her. I don't know why. This morning I just started thinking of Hetty and I can't seem to stop. Look, Sport, hadn't you better go and see the problem walrus? I'm Rocco, I don't need no problem walrus. I was in that zoo for years, all alone. And one morning, woke up and she was there my Hetty you'd have loved it here sorry rabbit yeah she'd have loved our new life with Noah working together all of us Hetty would have approved of that here let's run with Brocco come along Ridge Brocco pal what's the matter They've got something. Noah told us he was steering the island close to shore. Oh, well scored. Huh? Uh, get away, you tatty bird. Do what Rocco tell you. Go and fetch two stretchers, Reg. Two stretchers? One for the rabbit, Reg. One for the rabbit. Ah, you're quite safe now. Yeah, nothing's going to hurt you again on our island. Perhaps he should like some pomegranate. Perhaps it's a her. Come on now. Time to come out of the cage. Petty. Isn't it wonderful, Rocco? We've rescued a Sphinx macaw, and they're very rare, you know. Noah says this is probably the last one. Oh, oh. How's your bones? Well, let's see this bird in. Hello, bird. What a lovely beak you've got. <laughs> Rocco, no! It meant no harm to you. It was just frightened. It's probably never seen a gorilla before. I'm Rocco. Nobody picks me on the nose with a stonking great beak and gets away with it. You do realize, Rocco, how rare this bird is, hmm? What are we for on our island, if not to rescue and help creatures who are nearly the last of their kind? Oh, 
if only we could convince it to come out of the cage. Then it would see that we don't mean it any harm. Oh, you want it to come out of the cage, do you? We've tried for two hours. I can get it out of the cage. Stop that this instant, dearie B. Rocco. I was wrong about you. You're just as bad as Reg. There's not a thing wrong with Reg. friends here. There you are. A kangaroo for a friend. Now do come out, see. No one's going to hurt you. everyone. Chang will hypnotize the creature. Won't you now? Good idea, Ursula. Here you are, Chang. You will come out of the cage. Ow! You will come out of the cage. Ow! You will come out of the cage. Ow! I can't help myself. I just hate this part. Tell it to eat some pomegranate. Poor thing hasn't had a bite all day. It's bitten me three times for a start. Eat pomegranate. Eat pomegranate. Eat pomegranate. Eat pomegranate. Eat. Well now. Field, haven't you? When everyone else was relying on you. Field! Deary B, this bird seems to bring out the worst in all of us. Don't know what to do with it. Yeah, maybe the vultures could take it back to where they got it and wait until the humans stuff it. Then bring it back here and it'll be no trouble at all, huh? Oh, Reg! <laughs> Good idea, Reg. Superior idea altogether. You do realize, Reg, that this is perhaps the last Spix Macaw on the planet, and that if anything was to happen to it, there'd be no more beautiful birds like that one. Not ever. Huh? Huh? I knew, see, it was female. Anyway, it's not the only one. I saw another one. Huh? Sure I did. When I was out walking my doggies the other day. Yep, found me granite. Eat pomegranate. So, I am honored and delighted that Im should take my eldest daughter for a mate. Excellent. Uh, actually, uh, uh, I don't want your daughter for a mate. I found someone else. What? But Shell is a vulture in a million. It's a perfect match. Ah. Oh, I see. 
<laughs> my youngest daughter. <laughs> well, I have to admit she's got a very pretty bald head and the wrinkles on her neck off. No! Uh, not her! Who then? Who? You don't think I take a vulture for a mate, do you? Female vultures are so... Yuck, yuck, yuck. Even before they come out of the egg. They're ugly, bald-headed, wrinkly necks, those hideous bent beaks. You mean you found a ah, mate who's not a vulture? The Spix Macaw, who I rescued. Uh, Captain Noah, this is disastrous. Ah, dissuade him, Captain Noah. Make him see sense. Now look here, old boy. That Spix Macaw is just about the last of her kind. She must mate with another Spix Macaw, or the species will die out. You understand, don't you? You and her, just not possible. Not right at all. We don't care what you say. We love each other. Urk. Ah! Look here, my boy. All my sons died back in the dust of Africa. I always dreamed of a son who'd be everything a vulture should be. Please, lad. Ah! Look at Shirley. But Mildred? Either one. They'd both be beautiful vultures. Oh, dearie, B, B. Excuse me, Captain Ski. Huh? You haven't any pomegranates hidden anywhere, Captain Ski. I've this oisky foisky craving for pomegranates. Oh, I'm going for a swim. Nice. <laughs> I say, you there. Stop. Stop! Yes. Did you naughty pups steal that bird from the infirmary? You mean it's another one? You mean Reg was right? There was a Spix Macaw already on the island? Come on after it! But they're the only two of their kind left in existence. If one kills the other, then what? Oh! That was easily the horriblest experience I can remember! I'm Rocco. I'll fix this. There. Told you I'd fix them. You're strangling them, you big ape. Don't call me a big ape, you kangaroo, you. I'm Rocco. Nobody calls me a big ape except Reg, and he's allowed. You're worse than Reg, far worse. Dingo brain gorilla, you're strangling these beautiful birds. Let me take one of those from you, Rocco. Why don't you stop bickering at me? You're not my mate. Oh, I'm not, am I? And never will be, so there. You're too full of bananas to feel anything about anyone you are. I'm not. I'm not. I loved Hetty with all my heart. And Noah and Reg. I loves them. It's just you I don't like. And I know why you left Australia. Rocco! Deary, B, B, oh my! They don't like each other. And just why did I leave Australia, you big ape? I'm Rocco. I know why. You ran away because you'd been looking after all the hoppity kangaroos what get shot by the humans, that's what. But however many you nurse back to health, there was always more coming in shot. And then more again, so you couldn't stand it anymore, and you ran away. So there, I did know, didn't I? Noah, that was our secret. How could you tell Rocco? I'm sorry, Woomera. I thought it would help him to understand you. I shall never speak to you again. Rocco, what you said to Woomera was unforgivable. We was just arguing. She called me a big ape. You are a big ape. Oh, my granny, where are you hiding?
eating my tasty little friends. Sasha will find where you are growing and eat you. <coughs> because that's what makes him happy. Oh, boisky, boisky, my poor little round belly. <coughs> you don't have a pomegranate to spare, do you? monster back there. Uh, if eating pomegranates hadn't made me so fast and fit, the monster would have eaten my oisky poisky nose. Huh, a monster! Oisky poisky. Come along, Shirley. Mildred, no more moping. We've got a job to do. Oi, you two love birds. There's work to be done. Scramble, vulture. Ah! Scramble! Scramble! Action stations! I see it! Dive, dive, dive! Rocco, clear the decks! Uh. Rocco, do something! So brave. What a vulture. I'd better go and find him. If he's badly hurt, I'll know what to do. Rich, you come with me. I say, Herb the Squawking came as fast as I could, which isn't fast at all. <laughs> Will the bird recover? No thanks to you. Hey, you're a sloth, aren't you? I am a sloth, yes indeed, but it wasn't I who stomped on your little birdie. Oh no, I am a morally perfect sloth who never does wrong. A likely story. Reg Sport, do a kangaroo a favour and frighten this monster off. Frighten it? How do you expect me to do that then? Show it your bottom. It's what mandrills do, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Is it frightened yet? Not since you'd notice. You must be losing your touch, Reg. Actually, I am rather frightened. It just takes me a while to respond, that's all. I'm very slow, you know. That's why I've never caught the other sleuth. The bad one. The one who hurt your birdie. So, cross your heart and hope to die saying it wasn't you, Sport? I am pure and innocent in all things. Boisky. Please make Reg stop showing his bottom. I'm becoming quite ill. So many pomegranates is making you sick. Oh! I'll be blowed. 
There is another one. He swam over from the mainland. I followed. Through many jungles and countries I have followed him. He's very bad, do you know? But don't worry, I'll catch him for you. I'll catch him this time. Well, look who it is. Looks like you're due a visit to the infirmary, my lad. Uh, I think they're going to be all right. They're awake. Now, no more fighting from you two now. Not each other, sloths or anything. Do you hear? My dingo, they're making it up. They love each other after all. It was just a lover's spat all the time. Huh? What'd you do that for? I don't know. Just thought I'd pick things out of your fur, that's all. My way of saying sorry. I'm Rocco, mind. I'm still Rocco. Oh, Rocco, you big ape! <laughs> Kangaroo! <laughs> <laughs> your heart, doesn't it, to see such lovey doveyness? Uh, are you Shirley or Mildred? I'm Shirley. Mildred's still unconscious. Cool. <laughs> Shirley? An M! Ah, my dreams come true. Thank ah. you, boys, here. I need medical attention. Excuse me, but I am turning into a pomegranate, and it is a very painful process. 